Hello and welcome to a, another update. Um, I thought it's probably about time I did an update as it's been a while um, and sort of I'll show you what I'm going to be doing next um, and I've done a few couple of reveals recently um, and I have been working on a couple of smaller projects uh, well a couple of projects in the background um, let's quickly go over the project I've been working on in the background let me just go over here basically uh, I've actually been doing a bit of armour which I don't really normally do um, part of the reason I built this in the background was because I actually started building it at the model club I go to um, once a month so of course I couldn't really it wasn't really practical to video any of it um, but this is the Tacom uh, Whippet um, really good little kit actually I have to say it goes together really well um, <laughs> I suppose if I'm honest slightly frustrated with the tracks they weren't quite as straightforward as I hoping they were going to be they all looked like they should just clip together and initially they did but by the time you've kind of painted them weathered them and then try to get them onto the actual tank um, they were a bit challenging if I'm honest maybe it's just my experience with armor I, mean, I haven't built a tank in about 10 years so um, it's kind of returned to yeah something different but um, I've enjoyed it it's, it's not quite there we've kind of been working uh, on a bit of weather I don't know how well you can see the weathering but it's a bit of staining um, yeah just working through it there's a little bit more weathering to do a bit of mud splatters and effects I want to do on it um, hopefully I'm going to put this into a diorama that's the plan anyway I've started to actually um, this kit particular kit came with the World War One figures uh, so I've started to put them together and I'll get them primed I'm not particularly a good figure painter so we shall see how well they come out um, hopefully with a bit of practice um, they won't be too bad um, I also got one another kit with a World War um, I think it was uh, I'm trying to think of the brand it was another I can't remember now can't find a box to hand um, but again we've got a, a guy with a spanner sort of tank crew um, so I'm going to have him with some figures some sort of diorama um, I actually recently picked up some of the um, AK new products the diorama products I've got some muddy ground so we'll do a nice muddy sort of um, diorama and puddles so hopefully we'll, they'll be quite interesting they look quite good so I'm not going to go mad but I'll do something I think to display it it'll just make it uh, just show it off a bit uh, a bit nicer but once that's finished I will do a, a sort of final show so you can see it I'll put that out of the way um, then my next <coughs> excuse me <coughs> my next aircraft um, I think I may have mentioned I was quite keen to um, crack on uh, with the Prowler uh, the EA6B um, this is the read box of the uh, kinetic kit I think so it looks pretty good I have done an inbox review um, got a few bits for it um, picked up the Eddard uh, interior cockpit set for the instrument panels etc um, self adhesive type um, mm, never had much luck with I think I had that for the lightning that I did some time back and found it a bit challenging but we can hopefully add a bit of extra glue if need be to just um, sort that out I uh, managed to pick this up on eBay as well injection seats they're actually for the old very old FX kit uh, 148 Prowler um, they look pretty good though I think they're going to fit although they're a bit tight in the tub but with a bit of careful um, yeah a bit of careful uh, something <laughs> we'll get them to fit I'm sure and obviously that comes with harnesses as well which is quite nice although they're not coloured which is a bit of a shame but um, I think they'd be quite nice they look pretty good so that should just line up the cockpit um, we'll do that with the cockpit um, open um, I bought some attacker paints for the uh, sort of desert colours because I plan to do uh, the desert variant the actual one that's on the on the box artwork some of you have already aspired that I've got the actual monogram ea 6 big Prowler as well in my stash in fact I did a ring box review of that ooh, quite some time ago um, so I may uh, I haven't quite decided yet but I may build these side by side this is actually looks like quite a simple build uh, and I might actually do this in flight uh, because it does come with crew figures so I think we'll probably do one the 
um, if I do go for it, um, I think we'll do the sort of kinetic version because uh, I know it's got the wing folds. We can do the wings folded up, um, and obviously the cockpit open. Um, I'm sort of you know landed to displayed, and then we'll do try and do something with this one. Uh, I think in flight with the crew. Um, don't know, maybe with acrylic rod or, or or something. Not quite sure yet, but um, I think we'll probably try and so I'll probably try and build them almost side by side. Um, that's kind of the plan there. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy any extras um, for the cockpit on the monogram or old Revel Revel monogram. Um, because obviously we're going to have the kit, the crew in there, and uh, the canopies will be down. Um, yeah. Um, obviously, there are a few aftermarket bits out there for it. I think resin cockpit being one of them. Uh, resin wing folds, I think you can get for this. But obviously, if I'm doing it in flight, that's not really required. Um, will I be doing a rescribe? Um, don't know yet. Maybe we shall see. Or I may just leave it as raised panel lines. You know, again, you can see a comparison of the old with the new. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think I'll see <laughs> how well it <laughs> starts to go together, and then if I feel brave enough, uh, I may consider rescribing it. Um, don't know. Um, okay, anything else going on? Um, no, I don't think so at the moment. Um, I've got a model show I'm going to next Saturday. The 11th, uh, North Surrey, um, so you never know, I'm, I'm probably going to try and resist buying too much because um, I very recently picked up the Hobby Boss A10 kit, um, which hopefully is winging its way to me, I got that at a special price, um, so I've probably really bought my kit for this month, <laughs> um, but you never know, when I might see at the show, um, I might be tempted, but I'm going to try and resist, so the only thing you may see new from me in the next uh, few weeks will be the A10. I'll try and do a review of that. I know it's been out a while um, and there's probably reviews out there um, but I thought I'd do my own review anyway. Cool well I think that's pretty much it for, for this update. There's not much else um, to cover. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully um, see you again. Uh, I'll speak to you again soon.